Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are working on this anti-social butterfly tumbler today, so let's get started. I am working on a 20 ounce straight tumbler from the tumbler supply store. Today I decided to break out of my shell a little bit and work with a template. I haven't really worked with them in the past, so we are just going full force for it today. The pattern template is from Diamonds and Dust, as well as this beautiful butterfly pattern vinyl. When I was scrolling through her templates, I picked this one because I felt like it had the best design for my vision of this tumbler. So I took the pattern vinyl, cut out the template, I sized it to make sure it was specific to the tumbler that I have, and I cut it out of the pattern vinyl, and then I laid the transfer tape on the top, and then I trimmed it to be exactly the size of the pattern. I hope that makes sense. Once I had that all trimmed up, I took it to my tumbler and wanted to make sure it actually lined up that I actually measured correctly and it was going to line up perfectly because with templates if you're off a little bit it will most likely show sometimes you can fix it but it's better to be safe than sorry so once I saw that it was going to be lined up perfectly I didn't want it to move so I put a little painter's tape on there to hold it in place and then we're going to apply the wrap just like the hinge method on a full vinyl wrap. So I just cut about an inch or so off of the backing and then I'm going to one more time before I wrap it make sure that I didn't move it at all and it will still line up exactly how I needed it to line up. So it looks good it looks like it's perfectly lined up again so then we're just going to apply the vinyl in the hinge method very slowly. So here I am still double checking because I was so nervous that I was not going to get this right and for some reason it would not line up in the end. But we moved forward. So I just slowly pushed the vinyl and the transfer tape. I was going to use my squeegee but I don't have a felt edge squeezy, squeegee so I just used my hand and just slowly went back and forth, just trying not to get any bubbles or wrinkles as I did so. Once I got close to the end, I cut off most of that backing. And then what we're going to do is peel off the transfer tape from the start of the template, just because you don't want to overlap over the blue painter's tape or the transfer tape. So peel that off and then just make sure you are very careful not to peel up the actual vinyl. And then you're going to lay down the rest of the template. Now let's get into the fun part. I am going to use eye candy and lavender lust from Diamonds and Dust, and we are going to glitter all of the open space. So first comes the tedious part and taping off all of the vinyl because we don't want to get any paint or glitter on it. So because it's kind of an odd shape, it's not just straight lines, they're kind of curved. I just took my painter's tape and put it on sections and then ripped it to just fill that curve and tape off all of this pattern vinyl.
once we have that completely done, we are going to go in with a little chalk paint mixed with a little bit of Crystal Lac glitter glue. And we are going to apply yellow to the bottom part. And then we are going to take this pollen glitter, also from Diamonds and Dust, and apply it to the bottom of the tumbler. You could use gold paint if you wanted. I didn't have any, so we just went with yellow because I thought it was the closest to gold that I could find. Make sure you just give that a really good coverage. And I even stood it up in the pile of glitter just to help squish that glitter on and give it just a really good coverage on the bottom. Once that is good and covered, I'm going to take the tumbler and roll it on a piece of copy paper because I really want it to be flat. This is not a fine glitter so it just helps it really lay flat which helps with your coverage in the epoxy because then you don't have as many pokey bits and a little less sanding so then once i did that i wanted the two colored glitters to be more of an ombre so we went in with more chalk paint mixed with Crystal Lac Glitter Glue, and I just painted the minty color on the bottom portion and the lavender color on the top portion. My paintbrushes were a little old, so they were leaving too many lines and streaks for me for my liking. So I just went back in and kind of dabbed it so that hopefully it wouldn't show any lines under the glitter. And then I just went in to do an ombre, which for me, I just start light, start further away from the tumbler, and tilt the tumbler in the direction that you want those colors to blend into the next color, and just go back and forth until you have the coverage that you like. As soon as I was done with the glittering, before the glitter glue was dry, I went in and removed all of the painter's tape from the entire thing because you don't want to let it dry on there and then try pulling up the tape. Then once the glitter glue is dry, I let it sit for at least a few hours, I go in with two coats of Rust-Oleum's clear glossy spray paint. Then it got two coats of epoxy, and then we're on to this next step. Now, I've had these wall stickers from Dollar Tree for probably at least a year. I bought them, I thought they would be cool on a cup, and then just was never inspired until I ordered this vinyl, because as soon as I saw this vinyl, I knew instantly that I had to use these gold butterflies with it. So in the opening portion where the glitter is, I wanted to just fill it with all of these beautiful butterflies. I took some of the big ones, some of the small ones, and it's okay to overlap it over the edge of the tumbler and into the vinyl. We're going to trim it off. And to me, that way it doesn't look like everything is just floating in the open space. When you're cutting it off, it gives it more of a cohesive pattern, I guess you could say. And then once I had all those butterflies placed, we just trimmed off anything that was hanging over the edge over the top rim. And then also I went in and trimmed off anything that overlapped from the glitter into the pattern vinyl.
once that was all trimmed off, we're going to go right into the decal. I found this SVG also on Diamonds and Dust website. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that it was perfect to go for this butterfly tumbler because it's anti-social butterfly. I cut it out in a soft lavender color to match. And then the offset I cut in a textured gold metallic. I believe it's from Tech Rep Crafts and I just get that on Amazon. I trimmed around the edge of the decal and then I cut just a portion of the backing off because I wanted to apply it like the hinge method and be able to just make sure that I had it centered correctly because as I said, I'm not a measure. So I just placed it on and eyeballed it before I applied it. Now we're going to go right into the vinyl striping and I used the same lavender that I used for the decal and we are going to line the edges of all of the patterned vinyl. I love glossy vinyl like this because it's kind of stretchy so since it's not just a straight line it's kind of curved I didn't want to cut out the pattern with an offset for these lines I just cut straight lines and then it's kind of stretchy, so as you pull on the vinyl, you can kind of manipulate it to move in directions and shapes that you want it to. So I just did that, all the lines with lavender, and then we're going to go in with the same textured gold in the center of all of the lavender lines. Once all of that was done, this tumbler is pretty much complete. I went in with a coat of polycrylic because I worked with a lot of vinyl and I didn't want there to be any lifting. And then two coats of epoxy to finish it off. And then this beauty was all done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you liked this video and that it inspired you in some way. And if it did, I would love for you to tag me or give me a follow. I'll leave all my social information down at the bottom. And if you like this tumbler and want to purchase it, it will be listed on Monday on the website. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next week.